welcome to this study video on playing sukiyaki. I'm going to go through it bar by bar and try and show you exactly the kind of effects you can get and the fingering to use on the chords. Now, chord cylinders are shown above, of course you can learn to play it just as a rhythm piece, but um, in a, a fingerstyle version we're not going to play, for instance, a whole G. I could put down that shape right at the beginning, but I wouldn't be using the B finger, so a um, sensible way would be just to do it like that. So fingers one and two on the two and three. From the G you go to an A minor, and then reach up with the little finger to the seven. Because then you can slide that back not necessarily making a sound on it, although that can be a nice effect. So you get that. But notice how the fingers sort of work. They're in what's on guitar would be called a box, so you're playing in the second position, finger one on fret two, finger two on fret three. And so that works for all of that section. again at the beginning of bar three. Back to there again and back again. Now a D, really a D7 but it's got a sixth in it as well. And that is best played with fingers one, two, three. Um, notice my that finger is a little bit away from the fret. You can get away with quite a lot of times playing further back along between the frets than you would on a guitar. Um, it's something I've noticed quite a lot. So when I look back at my fingers, sometimes I think, oh, that's a long way back, but it doesn't actually matter. As long as you get the clarity of the tone of the note that you actually want. Notice that roll stroke. Let's just concentrate on the right hand. All I've been doing with the right hand is using this Pima position, so the thumb is on the G string, I is on the C string, M is on the E string, and A is on the A string, the annular finger, the ring finger. And that follows most of the time, except when we do some um, single finger work later on. Okay, bar five. So you've got this. Why I roll the third one is because the tune is going. I actually want that sound to come out. And then when you get to bar six, you change from that shape. Notice this B minor bar that I'm using, which I used before in bar two, but now I want it so you're getting that B note on both bottom and top strings. Um, if you're unhappy with that shape, then you can try to use that as a bar. And even sometimes I do that one if I want to reach a long way up here. Whereas this constricts the hand a little bit, you can't reach very effectively up there. But for this one, you're, you're not reaching above the five. A lovely version of E minor in bar 11. Not immediately obvious. Um, notice the figuring of it so that, rather than trying that, because you want to go back to the five, and you don't want to lose those sounds. So that's why I don't do that one, because that wouldn't work so well. Now into this, you can use either third or fourth on that E note. Okay, so let's 
just do those E minor. D on the hand. Then back to that shape we had in bar four. Now what I'm doing there is I'm doing this G6, I've called it, or E minor, then an open and then a harmonic. Then back to this. Then a repeat. And then you come on to bar 21. Nice use of a strange G6 there. Now this is a place where you've got this single string Now if you play just using fingers I and M But my way of doing it is to get that so triplet with a hammer and pull. All this we've had before. Oh, and this one, I need to use finger three because I want to hammer on the triplet. Just a little um, bow to um, Oriental traditions. Interesting thing about that G is that shape is the first major chord where you can play where all the notes are in the right order. Uh, so if you're playing on a piano, going G V D G G minor. Is of course there. So it's a useful shape to be aware of. Notice when I was doing these um, fourth finger introduce, try and develop these bar ideas with all your fingers. I remember doing um, a version of Fly Me to the Moon where the ending was where well, I use an F chord but then little techniques. Okay, so I hope that uh, takes you successfully through playing Sukiyaki. A lovely little tune, nothing too complex. I mean, there haven't been that many different versions of a G chord. Um, I don't think I even used that one, which is one of my favourites. B minor, tricky, and getting back to that. And of course this D. D minor. So I suppose when you're doing bar, R11. Sorry, it's a phone going. But never mind, I'm nearly at the end of this and my wife should take that. Okay, so there's the end of Sukiyaki.